Once again, we are in the studio with Eric from Shining 3D. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks always, for having me. Always, always a pleasure. So three new scanners, uh, and these are very high-end. Tell me more. Who are they for? What are they about? What's the difference? What do they do? Yeah, so with these three new units, we're really targeting the large-scale machinery and parts measurements industry. With the UE Nova, we'll start with that first. Uh, you have a scanner that has a 2.6 meter by 2.2 meter field of view. And that can scan basically any objects that is three meters long to say 12 meters, 18 meters in size. So you're talking, you're talking like the size of a windmill blade, like huge yeah. objects. This scanner is able to capture all of that data, we'll say 2.6 meters by 2.2 meters, right? Uh, very, very quickly. Very quickly, like how quickly? What are we talking? Five million points per second. Five million points a second. What kind of resolution are we talking? So for this, the UE Nova, and for objects of this size, we don't really need to go high resolution. What we recommend, and the highest we can actually go, is going to be one millimeter point distance. Okay, yeah, which makes sense. Uh, you know, we've had, we've had some guys buy the metrology grade scanners and scan a whole Jeep, at 0 0.04 millimeter resolution, it's like, dude, you don't need that. What are you going to do yeah. with that resolution? It's a big, smooth hood, right? So yeah. when you're scanning bigger stuff, usually the need is not, it's not necessary to scan super high res. It's a big, smooth surface. What's important there is that we don't lose accuracy per meter because that's what 3D scanners struggle with, especially these optical 3D scanners. When mm -hmm. you have objects that are over a meter and the larger they gets, the more error that stacks as you scan. Right. So, for example, with something like the FreeScan Combo Plus or HX2, we'll scan in like three to six foot sections. And if we need to do more than that, we'll stitch multiple sections together. But the example, I, I scanned a very large vehicle one time and I started at the front headlight and I went all the way around the vehicle and I came all the way around the back and all the way around the other side. By the time I got back around the front, this is like 20, 30 feet, it was off by, you know, a significant margin, a few centimeters. So this specializes for large stuff with high volumetric accuracy, so you can exactly. scan that whole 30 feet without even worrying about, you know it's accurate. Yeah, and so with the UE Nova, this is the first scanner of its kind that will have such a large field of view that can capture those large scale objects very quickly. And when we go one step above that, we have the FreeScan Track Nova. And what that is, is it's incorporating the UE Nova and another scanner, which we refer to as the TE Nova, and in this two-part setup, the UE Nova is going to turn into a tracker that mm. tracks the location of the TE Nova while it's scanning. And that means that we won't need to use markers at all oh. in this two-part system. That is really cool. So basically, you've got the big scanner. It looks like an elongated FreeScan Combo Plus or something. And it's on a tripod. And mm -hmm. then you've got this cage, this marker cage that it's reading and it has another scanner in it that you're scanning with. It's tracking the position, knows exactly where it is as you're going around scanning. Exactly. What other applications? Uh, like obviously the windmill is a, is a huge one when you're inspecting those, those giant fan blades, those windmill yeah. blades, that's a big one. Where else is, are these used? really used in industry? So the FreeScan Track Nova is important for people who care about volumetric accuracy for these large objects. If you think about just really large machines in general, we have right ship engines in ships, helicopters, jets, airplanes, uh, or just cars, which is going to be the smallest objects that we're going to be talking about here. It's going to be able to capture all of these things really quickly in high resolution and in high accuracy. Yeah, I mean, Patrick flies a helicopter, and so there's a lot of little projects he's been doing, and kind of nicer because you can do the whole thing in one go. And without markers. And without markers, using lasers? Yeah, using lasers. Using blue lasers. Now, these are, it's got the 50 lines laser, right? It's yes. got the, so 50 line crosshatch. It also has the seven line for extra detail and the single line for getting deep pockets and stuff like that. So you exactly. get the, the functionality and the, and the workflow of something like the free scan combo. But with this majorly upgraded volumetric accuracy so you can mm. do massive things. And the next step above the Track Nova mm. is going to the, the Track Pro W. 
And so you notice that with these two scanners we mentioned, there is the uh, term track in front of them. And what that means is there is a tracking system. So with the Track Pro W, we have an even larger tracker, which is going to be really good for capturing even larger objects in high accuracy. Are we talking like a whole skyscraper at this point? Man, we're getting big. <laughs> yeah, so not as big as a skyscraper. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're still talking, it's going to be at the most an airplane. Like like what kind of airplane? Like a private jet. Okay, so like a private jet. Yeah, yeah. or the wing of an Air, a 747. Yeah, or a wind turbine, or a huge wind turbine. Yeah, we get such interesting calls here at Vision Miner because we sell 3D printers, 3D scanners, we make our own 3D printer, all the materials and above. And for either one, we get people from all over the world calling in with their project and the amount of marine type activities, you know, uh, whether they're doing entire boat decks or they need to scan the outer hull or they're in the engine bay getting all the fittings and the piping and everything like that. It's incredible how much work there really is there that benefits from scanners. So a little bit more on the Track Nova. Uh, this unit is going to be wireless. And what that means is you won't have any cables connecting to the, uh, to the power source or to your laptop. And so these, both the UE Nova and the TE Nova, which comprises the Track Nova, can run on swappable battery packs. And so you can be on the go scanning and the data will be transferred uh, wirelessly to your laptop. Like constantly, it's constantly. going not so much like the Libre where it's storing it all on the unit. It's mm -hmm. literally, it's wireless and it's constantly just feeding all the information back to your laptop. Exactly. And is that both the tracker and the marker cage or yeah. both wireless? Oh, to do away with tethers, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> that just makes it a lot easier because if you can imagine when you're scanning these large scale objects, to have wires around is going to be really uh -huh. Tedious. Yeah, yeah, you need a long, a long cable for that. So a major standout feature of the Track Nova, uh, this new update, is that it's completely wireless. Yeah. That is, that's really, really nice. Certain industries are freaking out about this new scanner and just how much it could improve their workflow and whatnot. Can you tell me a little more about that? You can imagine wireless units with two different scanners. One scanner that can scan really large objects very quickly. And then another one, which can capture the finer details of those large objects or just smaller objects in general without markers. Now that is game changing in this yeah. industry. We're gonna be able to make large scale measurements very easily. And that just helps improve the process overall. So 3D scanning will be easier to incorporate that into a quality control or reverse engineering aspect of these large scale objects. So one of the reasons we've always loved Shining 3D and Einscan and Freescan line of things is, you know, I go to a lot of different expos around the world every year and I'll go and I'll use, I'll go to the, the booths and the workshops for 3D scanners and I'll use five to six, seven different brands of scanners just to see what the best features are, what the new workflows are, who's got the coolest equipment, what can you do? And time and time again, over the years, it's always been the best bang for your buck from Shining 3D. It'll be 70% or even sometimes half the cost of the com competitor product. Now, uh, the one thing is they are manufactured in China, so the DOD doesn't always use them, but for your average person and, and the people you know in machine shops and industry and whatnot, if that doesn't matter, then you're getting an incredible deal. They're a multi-billion dollar corporation with multiple headquarters around the world, one in San Francisco, so the support is there, the people are there, the communication is there. It's a different level of company. And so they've been able to provide extremely high quality for a very low price for a lot of years. Now this is important because we don't have final pricing and whatnot on these systems, but what we can say is that compared to other solutions in the market that do the same thing, that are of the same level and have the same capabilities, these units are massively more affordable. So price point, it, it does matter uh, and Shining 3D has been killing it. And I'd also like to point out that we don't charge any yearly maintenance fee on the software, which is uh, something that our competitors do. Yep. We know that the software is important and that you should be able to use it and keep updated with the software too. So, and that is the scanner software, the stuff to operate the scanner and get all that data. Uh, the separate software, if you get something like Control X, you know, Geomagic Control X for inspection or Design X or something like that, those are 
different softwares and those have different plans. Uh, but for all of the software included, you're not locked into some subscription or some yearly maintenance. Oh, you got to upgrade just to keep using what you bought, you know, last year. None of that. You own it. It's yours. And that is another great feature. The Track Pro W is also wireless. Okay, so the Track Nova and the Track Pro W are both wireless both systems. Wireless. Is that what the W stands for? Yes. <laughs> nice. All right. Yes. Yep, makes sense now. One thing about the Track Pro W that is unique is that it is able to use a probe. Oh, and yes. Like a CMM probe, like a CMM physical probe. touch off probe. Yeah. And this is something a lot of guys are concerned about with the op just purely optical or laser scanners. Not having that physical thing means, well, they, they, they want it. They're used to it. They like it. Yeah. It's a good feature to have. So exactly. you have an actual probe. Yep. That's awesome. With this type of setup, you can capture those large scale objects and also use the probe as well to improve the accuracy. Like after the scan or do you probe it and then scan it so it knows sort of where it is? So the probe is really important because it's able to uh, integrate with the inspection software such as GeoMagic Control X mm -hmm. and Polyworks nice. Inspector. So uh, the probe, and it, it's industry standard, right? So any software you can integrate with using that probe, the inspection software. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, that's a game changer, it sounds like. Yeah, it helps improve uh, the, the process. Optically, with the single laser line, it makes it a lot better for getting you know, deep pockets and down holes and things like that. But sometimes you can only still get so far. Could you take something like the probe and like get deeper into those areas or hard to scan areas? The probe will be able to go into these harder to reach areas. And we are able to swap out the tip of the probe uh, to get into different type of pockets and holes. Nice. So if it's a smaller hole, we have a different tip for that. If it's a larger hole, we have a different tip for that to get deeper inside. Cool. This is incredible stuff. Guys, if you want to know more, uh, check out visionminer.com. Give us a call. Reach out. Very cool new stuff. And uh, you heard it here first. So we'll have some videos, I'm sure, in the near future coming up on that. So make sure you subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. And if you have questions, leave them down in the comments below. We love hearing your guys' feedback. How do you like this content? What do you think about these machines? Do you have any questions on the scanners themselves or future video ideas? We love hearing from you. So please leave a comment down below. Eric, thank you so much again for coming by and uh, informing us on this awesome technology. And I'm sure we'll see you again soon for uh, with the units in hand so we can actually demo them out. Yeah, we'll bring them over and we can come up with some more shining ideas too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, have a positive rest of your day and we'll see you on the next video.